something that might be coming at us before 2030 is Miles Morales. Um, Sony seems keen on doing something with Miles Morales. Now, what something is, is uh, it's a good guess. Um, obviously, they got the Spider-Verse films, which, I mean, big deal, right? Like Or film. Yeah, or film, yeah. And the second one's coming out. And there was supposed to be spinoffs, but the plague delayed everything. So that's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> the plague. Um, yeah, okay. So, again, we keep hearing Sony wants to do something with live action. Miles potentially being set up. Um, You know, we had recently even Tom Holland being like, I would love to see Miles Morales join the ranks. Uh, I think it's kind of inevitable, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's they're just leaving money on the table at this point. It's, and it's not even like money. It's stupid amounts of money that they're leaving on the table. Yeah, yeah. It's a billion dollars they're leaving on the table. Yeah. Um. Easily. It's at the point where like, you know, I, I see because uh, you know, a, a bunch of like kids everywhere. You see like the merchandise and stuff, and you see how much is selling out, and. I see just about as much Miles Morales backpacks and merchandise on kids as I do the normal Peter Parker Spider Man. Like mm. it is everywhere. Um, you know, it's for... kind of nuts how far Miles has come in a short amount of time. Oh yeah, for Halloween, I counted more Miles Morales costumes stopping by the house than actual Peter Parkers. I was like, boy, there's nice. a lot of Miles is here. Like, <laughs> and kids legit knew who he was. Like. Yeah, yeah. And I'm kind of like, yeah, okay, this this actually works. Like, it, there's something there. Um, You would have to assume every time they see the financials, they're like, we need to capitalize on this. But this is Sony, so they're going to give us a bunch of things that don't make sense before it, which... Mm. It wouldn't surprise me if Sony's chomping at a bit of fag. He's like, look, we've set him up just for relax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we're we're going to get to it. Calm yeah. down. <laughs> Calm down. We can't just literally hit him with a shaky cam and drop him into the universe. We're not doing that again, Sony. <laughs> like, what? No. No, no, no. We can have only... to have Peter die fighting the Sinister Six and then Miles can come in. Uh... Not that that's ever going to happen because you you want the two side by side. Oh, totally. But, you know, Peter can get in a coma from the Sinister Six. <laughs> and that's how it goes on. It's true. It's true. Um, I mean... In my opinion, I think you're going to get it sooner rather than later because yeah, yeah. they kind of have to. And again, there's also that interesting whole age thing where by the time the next Spider-Man film is out with Tom Holland, he's probably going to be like, what, 28, 29? Because he's 25 now. So like, yeah, you're going to start running out of time and you're going to get to the point where you're like, Okay, Tom Holland is literally going to be like Tony Stark's age now. Like, what do you do? Like, you have to... The character's going to eventually probably have, like, Parker Industries or something. Like, it's... You're getting to the point where he is growing up. And he can't just be... He can't just be Tom Holland doing the 18-year-old shtick like he is in the Uncharted movie and everything. It's like, you got to kind of mm. catch up with it eventually, right? So I think that, that could be why, spoilers, Hawkeye is two years apart. And that's yeah. why No Way Home is relatively close to the end of Far From Home. Because mm -hmm. then it's like, well, we can kind of take a little time skip. You know, you, he's out of, he's out of school. Yeah. He's doing, like, college or whatever. He's always got his own business or whatnot. And then you like you can time jump and age him up slightly that way. Mm -hmm. That's a decent excuse for it, but that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, and then that's how you bring in Miles, and you can have them too, and it's it's not too old. Like, you kind of see it in the uh, PS4, PS5 video games. Like, the age gap isn't that big, but it's still relatively, like, Peter can remember what it was like to be that age, and it's not, like, yeah, too far yeah. removed. Now, if you were to, like, hey, Peter Parker in the MCU is now 26, and here's 16-year-old Miles, you're like, ooh, that's you're already kind of pushing a little too far. Like, for live action, it feels a little off, but uh, I guess they can make it work. You know, I mean, just no different to Hawkeye, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm. 
just, uh, I don't want to keep doing this. Uh, okay, <laughs> old man. <laughs> yeah, those two, those two episodes work really well. Yeah, yeah. With that dynamic, so yeah, they do. I I feel here for that. True. Yeah, I, I suppose we'll see how Sony does it. Knowing Sony, they're gonna be like, look, Miles Morales' origin story is in the Sandman movie. Take it or leave it. <laughs> I will leave it. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> oh, I would definitely leave that. <laughs> Oh, no, definitely. But this is interesting thing because you know they get them one Spider-Man movies forever. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, do you now just make like the next trilogy of movies half Tom Holland and half Miles? Um, kind of like how Black Widow started off. Honestly, I think that is the way you do it. The first movie is a team up. And then the passing of, you know, passing of the torch. And then the next one's just Miles with a small extended role. And then the third one, yeah, it's just pure Miles. Kind of like, you know, yeah. it, it makes sense, right? See, like, I wouldn't even have a team up in the first one. I was introducing. Oh, well, damn. Just have him be, like, the character. Because we, do, we don't know who he is at the minute. We know Davis is the thing. True, yeah. We haven't seen Miles in this universe. So just... You know, cause I suppose it's kind of how the games are going. You know, you have your introduction to it, you set them up a little bit. Then the second one, like maybe he gets his powers in the second one, and then you get the third one, it's him actually starting to do something. And then the next trilogy is Miles. Yeah. And yeah. Pete's taking a backseat or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it would work. So, you know, instead of us brainstorming it here, we'll let Sony botch it. That's what we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> Feige, please. Please. Feige, just try to secure it before it's too late. Uh, just buy Sony, please. You can do it. <laughs> you wouldn't even notice the money's missing, trust me. That's true. Profit from the last two Avengers films alone could buy them. So, <laughs> you know, there you go. Um, yeah, Spider 